anthem is sung, the player introductions are done. It's the Edmonton Oil Kings and the Red Deer Rebels. It is the Oil Kings home opener coming to you from the heart of Ice District, Rogers Place in downtown Edmonton, Alberta. Puck down, we are underway from Rogers Place as the Oil Kings control the opening faceoff and Litke will fire the puck in down the right wing side. Back to retrieve in behind his net. Nicholas Andrusiak turns it over. Here's Cole Miller onto it. Centering pass. Wrist shot. Oh, what a glove save by Chase Wootski as he absolutely stones the Oil King on the doorstep. Mason Finley. Left wing side. Melnick over the blunt. He'll walk it in. Top left circle. Now high slot. Wrist shot. And that one glances off the iron and stays out. Adam Yeko in on the four check trying to find this puck. Cole Miller a heavy, heavy hit on Quinton Bourne. And Edmonton keeps the puck alive. Wootski out to play it on his backhand. Turns it over. Chance here for Edmonton. Centering pass. Finney on goal. Save. Rebound. He scores! Back-to-back -back games. Marshall Finney with the icebreaker. And it's 1-0 Oil Kings. Again, driving to the net. That's, you know, there's talk about there's money in the blue paint. Go to the blue paint. Marshall Finney does it two nights in a row the same way. Josephson will fire it into the right wing corner. Gene Jr. trying to get the cycle started. Miller trying to bust it up as he throws a heavy hit on Ollie Josephson. Puck back to the blue line. Right wing side, that pass put Latimer off balance, but you know, they recover enough to get the puck in down the right wing side. And now here's Jet Larson. Larson walks his way in front on his forehand and he scores. As Larson just walked that puck from down below the goal line, hooked it on goal, and he finds the back of the net. The Rebels have a power play marker to tie the game at one. Back to the blue line, Andrusiak. Andrusiak in behind the net. Franisak, Formanic with it. Formanic left circle, pass in front for Josephson. Josephson able to retrieve the puck, left circle, he'll walk it in, shot, scores! A hot shot from Ollie Josephson from the left circle, and just like that, the Rebels, with goals just a minute apart, have taken a 2-1 lead. Far side, and now a pass ahead finds Rhett Melnick. Melnick trying to launch a pass to center, catching up to it is Mark Lejoie. In over the line, Lejoie, left circle, wrist shot, scores! <laughs> An absolute seed from Mark Lajoie. It's his first Oil Kings goal. And just like that, we're tied at two. Bit of a broken play in the neutral zone, but it worked out well as Lajoie was able to pick up the pass that was intended for the forward, but stopped dead. And he just takes it across the blue line and gets all of his big frame and strength behind this shot. First time this season, and didn't take them long. And not really surprised that it was a couple of the leaders on this team. Here's a shot from Lejoie, they score! It's an own goal. No, it's not. Marshall Finney will get the last touch, and the Edmonton Oil Kings have a 3-2 lead. I got to see a replay. I thought this one might have been batted into the net. Well, Lejoie pulled the trigger on the shot. I know Finney is there, but I thought Jay Weir was trying to clear it with his hand and actually batted it in. We'll see. Trying to get away from Talon Brigley. Brigley fighting off the check of Hoffrog. He gets it to the blue line now. Left wing side for Brizzi. A point shot blocked in front. Peterson rebound scores. Off the block from Reese Peterson. The puck lands on the stick of Talon Brigley. He rips it home. And with 6.25 left in the third period, the Rebels have tied the game at three. Puck grabbed by Levi Green. Centering pass and a one-timer. Good stick by Reed Larson. Broke up that shot from Dranchak, who then centers. And Green had that one swatted away from him by Logan Cunningham at the last second. At the blue line, Carmichael, point shot, tip, save, rebound, scores. Off the bench, Kai Uchaz puts home the rebound, and with 2.19 left in the third, the Rebels lead 4-3.